Hello Antoinette here, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a little something different and we're going to have a peek into the pages that I have started preparing for March. This is a weird phenomenon that I haven't had previously in my months of journaling, or certainly the last six months. Um, I'm actually in advance, drawing up pages in advance. I'm seeing spreads and things that I want to throw into my journal. But I haven't really got time this month to do a lot so maybe that's why I'm being inspired to get things into my journals early knowing I didn't have a lot of time this month. So if we just take a wee peek so we are in my current journal so you'll see my February flip through I'll probably do that in a couple of days time so look out for my February reflections. So this is an unusual peek into March. So I have been drawing this grid, which I was previously using as a date diary, or you can get this, you know, month, month ahead grid set up in most diaries. In fact, it doesn't have to be one that you draw, but because this is a blank page journal, um, I'm drawing them in. Now, I did a calendar spread for my birthday. I do my calendar spreads for my birthday, not Christmas time, you know, the Christmas year ahead or Halloween year ahead. Um, so this, these are my cards from that spread and I just transfer them in underneath the date here because I was forgetting to go back and look at them. So I'm using them here instead of pulling a card for the month. I'm like, I already have the cards pulled for the month, so let's just see how they work for me. So these are here and then I'm just using a standard grid that I'm drawing down. So one, two, three, four, five down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. I think they're three and a half centimetres tall or high by three centimetres wide on an A5 piece of paper, uh, an A4 piece of paper or an A5 book double spread. And then the spare grids, I'm just sticking stickers in because I don't need them or, or I can write in them, but I actually drew the lines right through this one and forgot to take them back out. So I put stickers over them just because I don't need those boxes. And that's simply how I am um, running my layouts so far in this book. And this book will finish this month and I'll open another one for April. And again, up here, I don't need that square because the first is on Tuesday. So that square I have popped a sticker into as well. I'm not sure. I think I was feeling the fact that maybe I'll be journeying out of the month of um, water season. Aquarius, the water bearer, so I class that as a water season. And then, of course, Pisces being a water sign. So I've just put this in here, like sailing away from it and coming into the greenery of March. Why green for March? Because I am half Irish. Um, St. Patrick's Day is a massive part of my upbringing and still a day that I do celebrate although I celebrate it perhaps with a slightly different connotation now for me now that I've learned a bit more about St Patrick's um, it's a bit different as to what I do so my week ahead are still looking the same the January actually the February one in there so February week ahead January has been much the same March exactly the same so I've done one week ahead ready to go Again, because I'm going to be so busy, so, so come Sunday night, I will um, be able to just throw my cards in and not have to worry about what's going on. This is a new page, so I thought I'd show you this one before I actually fill it in. So I'm calling it my throwdown page. Bring it up for you. And I got the idea of this from um, Magical Notes Tarot, uh, which is on Etsy, and that's where I get my little um, stickers from. For the cards and they have journal pages but I was like I don't need to buy the journal pages I can do my own um, so here it is so I've drawn the grids onto my page so you can see that I will put the date in here the question and I've put space for my mood I'll put my mood down and then probably stick the cards that I pull or draw onto this section and a, a sentence maybe or keywords about my thoughts now, the idea for this is that sometimes I throw down um, some cards in the morning. So every morning I do my daily card, which is what that grid is that I've just shown you for March. So my daily card goes there. And if I have a few questions about my daily card, I'll pull a different deck out and I'll just put some cards down. Um, maybe my question is, 
what do I need to avoid today or how do I need to best handle myself based on, I don't know, the Seven of Swords for today, the energy of the Seven of Swords, how can I best handle myself? And I'll just throw three cards down and read them as a kind of sentence or a Lenormand sort of um, esque spread as I hear many people refer to it. And then this, I'll leave them out all day long and I'll come back to them and I'll reflect on them in the evening to see if they fitted. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And it's interesting to see how it changes um, the aspects of how I felt they worked. So I thought this would be a nice thing to do. And it's not in any particular order. So they're just there. There is a page that I can come back to for my throw down pages at any point in the month. So it says seven there um, to put my cards into. I just thought that would be a nice thing to do. I have gone a bit elaborate with this. I did stamp all over the pages with various green stamps and I didn't know when to stop. And bear in mind, I'm going to cover it all up. Then I have already put in two spreads ready for me to do for throughout the week or the weekend. There's a three point spread there, which would be my um, idea or question, obstacles and solutions. So I've just drawn it in ready. And obviously these spaces are where I will stick my cards. That's why they're there drawn like that. So I've got space of so me just planning out really where I'm going to put them. And then um, Boho Tarot, simple Sunday spread. How can I nurture my connection to my emotional self? And three cards. And you can see I've planned a simple spread for this. We've got washi tape, green pen. Green seems to be the theme for the month. It's just going through that way at the moment for that first week. And um, I will stick a sticker for each card that I get and then I can just write about it because as many of you know I like to write about each card individually and then sometimes I'll sum it all up and I'll put like a little reference sentence at the bottom for how I think all of those integrate into each other to give me um, advice and that is where I'm at with that and when I say stickers for many of you I'm talking about So we are talking about magic notes on Etsy. And these are the stickers that I have been using so far. And I do now have a little spiral book of stickers, um, 10 pages, 10 sheets of stickers. So I get another 10 of each um, sticker on there. So that's what I'm planning on doing to decorate my journal. And they are plenty just do that so they will fit quite neatly in my squares with plenty of room and that is what I am planning on doing in the month of March I know it's a very unusual look ahead because I don't do these very often or haven't done these since um, probably May last year or before that even and just to show you I still have a page from a spread that I've pulled and drawn into February waiting to be done so that's sort of what I'm doing if I see spreads that inspire me I'm throwing them in for the month ahead and then do my usual spreads and with this I still have pace, space to do my new moon full moon and then one two three Four more weeks, I think, in March. Have a look here. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. And then still some more pages there. Four, one, two, three, four, five. Potentially five more um, throw down pages or spreads, random spreads that I see throughout the month. Simple Sunday spreads, three card readings. And of course, I still have the option of sticking some pages in at the back. So that's where we are at with um, a look ahead for March. And of course, this is a random thing. I won't do these as a regular. So that's just to help inspire some of you who have been saying that you're looking for inspiration on how to use your books, how, how to journal, how to maybe have a bit more fun with them. So I thought perhaps when you see them pre-done before I write in them, it might help you. And this is as simple as it gets. I have written week ahead. I've written the dates I want it to be for and the subject that it's for. My week aheads are always work based. It's always about my work. And then I draw three clouds because I'm writing about each card. So I'll put my card in here and this would be the situation for the week ahead. My card in here, this one I'm choosing in this month, I'm choosing it to be the obstacle 
for the week ahead. Here, the solution that I need to overcome the obstacle um, or the situation for the week ahead. Reflection and lesson. This will be my um, Friday or Saturday or Sunday, whenever I come back to it. Pull a card or a couple of cards and I'll stick them in here about my reflection or the lesson from this spread here. We'll just come down here to see how they marry together. And this space will be for an overall message, an overarching message, or I can pull a um, oracle card and stick that in there for advice if I can't think of anything sensible to make of this at that point in time. But there's just space there for more journal, doodle or whatever. It doesn't even have to be writing, it can be doodles. This could be where I get creative um, or even fill the space with stickers, should I so dare. And so I just wanted to show you how easy it can be to just pull out, you know, this is as simple as green and black pens. I'm not the greatest at creative drawing and writing, but I'm just putting it in there. It's my journal and let's have a go. So thank you again for watching. I hope it keeps you all inspired and look out for my February reflections for those of you who want to see. And I'll see you in the next one. Keep journaling. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.